everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing very very well today and if you guys are new here welcome to my channel my name is natalie jade i post videos on this channel twice a week i also have a brand new vlogging channel where i post every single week so i hope you guys can follow me on that journey too but in today's video i'm going to be trying out this brush set this is from number seven and i'm so excited to try these out i've never tried any of their brushes out before so i decided to go for a full face of makeup just using number seven brushes i hope you guys do enjoy this video and let's just get straight on with it So to start off with, I'm going to be priming my face. I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Primer for this today. And I'm not actually going to be using any sort of brush for this. I'm just going to apply it using my hands, which is what I would normally do anyway. So I do really like this one. I haven't actually used it that much recently because I actually lost my makeup bag. Um, because of the whole move, everything's been a bit chaotic. So I did lose my makeup bag. So I haven't actually used this one that much recently. But this one is such a nice one to use in summer. I think it really evens out your skin and it's got such a nice kind of silky feel to it as well. And I do really, really like it. It does go quite far as well. I feel like it goes and spreads quite nicely on your skin and applies really well too. I need to be a little bit more soft on my skin though. I think because I always like press on really hard and it goes really red so I'm trying to kind of take care of it a lot more as well so once that is all rubbed in I'm now going to apply my foundation so I'm going to be using my Revolution Pro Drops these ones that I've been using pretty much every single day at the moment I just got into using them and they're more of a summery foundation for me rather than my normal NAS one which I would use every single day that's more of like a heavy one quite a thick coverage so the one that I'm using today is in the shade F6 I do have two of these F6 6 is more of a tanned one, F3 is more of a pale one. I'm looking so pale right now. I tanned like last week and it's literally just all just fallen off me. So I am going to need to tan again. I'm, I'm not going to lie, in this lighting I'm literally looking like a ghost, which I'm not a fan of. But I'm going to be using these ones now. These ones are more of a natural one rather than the one I would normally use. So there are seven pieces to this brush set. So you've got your eyelash curler, the Kabuki brush. You've got a foundation brush. You've got your angled powder brush. You've got the Buff and Blend, the Smokey Eye, and the Angled Brow Brush. So you've got quite a different variety of ones in here that I think I could probably actually make into some sort of a full face. So for my foundation, I'm going to start off with using this brush here. This actually feels so, so nice. Like, it feels such good quality. So this is the one that I'm going to use. And I'm then going to probably use the other one to actually blend it out with. This is what I'm going to go for for now. And I'm just going to apply a small bit of this onto the back of my hand first. So I'm just taking little dabs of this onto the brush and then just applying it quite evenly around my face and just trying to make sure that I cover my whole face. This brush feels so good. And it's actually applying it really, really nicely. As you can see, it's actually quite a good match for my skin tone. Like I said, it's got quite a lighter coverage and it's a lot better for like a summery one. So I'm just going to make sure I've not missed any bits out. Okay, I'm now going to blend this in a bit more. And the brush that I'm going to use to blend it in with is the Kabuki one. I know this isn't actually supposed to be for foundation technically, but I want to be able to try them all out. So this is what I'm going to use it for now. I would normally use a beauty blender at this point, but obviously I'm using only brushes from this set. So this is what I'm going to use just to make sure that all my edges are kind of buffed out. So my foundation is now pretty much all blended in. I'm now going to go in with my concealer. So the concealer I'm going to use today is this one here. This is the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm just putting some underneath my eye there. And, there. and then I'm going to do a little bit over here. This one is really, really good coverage. I do, the, I do use this quite a lot. And since it's summer, I like to try brighten up my face where I can. There we go. So that's going to do for now. I'm just going to blend it all in. So I'm going to use this brush here to blend it in with. This one I was actually going to use for things such as my highlight. And I was actually going to use it for my blush as well. But I think I'm just going to be multi-purposeful with these and just use them for different things. This brush set I actually bought from a car boot sale a couple of weeks ago and it only cost £10 for the whole set. I think the actual price of the brush set is about 50 if you're actually buying it, you know, from the retail. And these brushes, you can actually tell they are really good quality because they're really, really heavy. So normally more expensive brushes are more heavy and things like that. So you can actually feel the weight of the product and the bristles actually feel really good quality too. So, so far, this is really, really good. I am really liking this so far. So I'm just using this to blend this into my skin and I'm not gonna lie I really really like this concealer so 
we'll have to see how the brush performs so far it's not doing too bad at all and i thought it was going to be a lot harder to use but it's actually really really good it's a really firm brush as well which really does help and it helps kind of push this product more into your skin it is really really nice and it doesn't feel hard like some brushes i've got feel really like horrible and kind of spiky and really hurt you so this one's not too bad for that so i've nearly done with this so now that's done, I'm just going to quickly do my eyebrows and I just use this gel. This is the Lux Gel. I actually got this from a glossy box when I was subscribed. So I'm just fluffing my brows up with this. And I do the same thing on both sides. I like to make them all nice and fluffy and kind of have more of a texture to them. I do need to get them done properly though because they just don't look very even at all. Like one of them's a lot softer than the other one. So this is what it's looking like so far. I'm just going to pat them down a little bit so they're not too over the top. I'm just going to shape them a little bit. So this bit I'm going to try and make kind of point a little bit more down. Do something on the other side. This is the hardest part is getting them to be like more equal. And then... Because I don't want them to be like round because they're not like circles. So I'm going to give them a little bit more shape to them. So that's going to do for now. I'm now going to move on to my contour, my highlight and my blush. So the first thing I'm going to use is the contour. And I'm going to be using the contour out of this palette here. This is the Roxy palette. And the contour that I love the most is this one here. This is kind of like a nice light shade. I'm just going to take this brush here. This is the angled brush. And this one will be perfect for contour and bronzer and all things like that. So I'm just going to apply some there so that's actually applied really nice like I actually really like that so now that is applied on both sides I do prefer this one to this one but I feel like that always happens you always have a side that you prefer to the other one so the next step is to apply my blush and I'm going to be using my morph palette this is new if you haven't seen it yet I actually did a morph haul on my channel where I unboxed this and did a first impressions on it along with a load of other little bits and I am obsessed so I'm going to use this little shade in the middle. This is the Fearless shade. So I'm going to be using this brush again, which is one that I use for my concealer. And I'm going to try this out with a blush because I don't have that many different brushes that I can use a different brush for every product. But I still really want to try the other products and do a full face. As I said before, this blush, I really, really like. It's a really delicate, a really pretty pink. This one is just really, really nice. And it's so soft as well it's got such a soft kind of glow to it, it makes you kind of look sun kissed so i do really really like it i'm gonna blend it out a little bit more using that kabuki brush again because i feel like this will just kind of help blend it out a bit and kind of like even it up a bit so i'm just gonna look into my mirror for this so i can see a little bit better So I'm actually quite happy with that. I think it looks kind of cute. I really like that. I'm not going to lie, I thought the brush wasn't going to be that good for that kind of thing. I didn't think the brush was going to work for it, but it didn't do too bad a job. So the next one I've got is a highlight. This is again another morph highlight. This is the Stardust one. This one is stunning. Like I do a little swatch for you. It is absolutely stunning. It's so, so pretty. So this one that I'm going to be using today. And I'm going to use the brush that I used for my contour. I'm just going to clean it off a little bit. And I'm going to use this one. So this brush isn't the best doing your highlight at all. Because it's just not like precise enough. It's way too like thick. I'm going to clean this brush off that I used for my foundation. And I'm going to use this one instead. Because I feel like this one will be a lot better. And then I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. This one's better. It's just still not really there. So I do really like this highlight, but I feel like it would apply a lot nicer using a different brush. So this brush set so far is really, really good. The only issue with it is the fact that it's not got like every single brush you need for a full face. There is some that I've had to kind of like improvise with, but it's still a very, very good brush set. So now I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to apply my P. Louise base. However, I'm going to be using this with my fingers. So I'm going to go off camera, apply this, and I'll be right back. So for my eyes, it comes with these two brushes. Not gonna lie, this is gonna be a challenge. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not very good at makeup. And to have these two brushes to my eyes with, it's not gonna be easy. This is what they look like a little bit more up close. 
So there's an angled one and then you can see just kind of like a small little pointy headed one. So I'm not looking forward to this, but I'm just going to see how it goes. I'm going to go for more of a natural nude eye because I feel that'll be easier. I'm going to start off with a couple of these nude shades, just kind of like base my eye a little bit. So I'm going to use the angled one to start with. I really don't know how I'm going to use these brushes. I'm not going to lie, I don't actually know how you're supposed to use these brushes, as I said. Not a makeup artist, so we're just gonna go for it. But it is so small, so I'm just kind of like lining that there, just kind of add a bit of color to my crease. But this is so difficult. Like, as I said, I'm not a makeup artist of any kind at all. I'm so glad I applied primer though, or none of the eyeshadow would have even like stuck on then. So, I'm gonna go to my Revolution palette now. This is the Revolution Forever Flawless Allure palette. It's one of my favourite Revolution palettes ever. And I'm gonna use the Suave shade there in the top right hand corner. So, I'm just getting a little bit of this. And I've not tried this brush out yet, so I'm quite excited to see what this one's actually like. So, I've got a generous amount of product on there. So that's not been too bad, it's applied better than I thought it would, but again, very difficult brushes to use, probably because I'm not a makeup artist, that I'm not as good with them. I prefer the fluffier brushes, but these are probably be better for like detailed looks, if you're trying to like blend more colours into each other. So that's looking okay, I'm going to add a little bit more product onto my left eye, because my right one looks a lot darker than my left. And I'm going to blend it out a little bit better with my finger because otherwise it's just going to take all day. And I'm going to add some sparkles because I love good shimmer. At the moment I've really, really been into shimmers. So that is what I'm going to do next. And I'm going to go in with my lip palette again. I'm using this shade here which is called Chemistry. It's a gorgeous like shimmery champagne colour. So that shade is actually so pretty. It always feels like it brightens and kind of like opens my eyes up a lot more. It's such a gorgeous shade and it's so, so highly pigmented. So I'm just going to go over it a little bit more just to make sure I've not missed any bits. And that it is super pigmented and shiny. I'm just really obsessed with it. Like it's so, so pretty. So next I'm going to do my mascara and I'm just using obviously not any sort of brushes or anything. I'm just using my normal mascara wand. This is my 3D Lash Effect from Primark. This one I believe was £2 and it is so good. So that's now all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have really enjoyed it. I love testing out new products and kind of like new brushes and things like that. I'm not going to lie, I think the brushes overall were good. They aren't kind of the kind of brush that you could use for a full face really because there are brushes in there that you are missing but they have some really, really good brushes and they're definitely going to be a part of my actual makeup bag in the future. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. I've really enjoyed filming it for you. If you've got any other videos you'd like to see from me, do make sure you let me know in the comments down below and that is pretty much it from me for today. Bye!